Matityahu, Matthew 12. At that time, Yahusha went on the Shabbat through the fields, and his Talmudim were hungry, and began to pluck the heads of grain and to eat. But when the Parashim saw it, they said unto him, Behold, your Talmudim do that at which is not lawful to do upon the Shabbat. But he said unto them, Have ye not read at what David did when he was hungry, and they that were with him? How he entered into the house of Yahuwah, and did eat the showbread of Yahuwah, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but only for the priests? Or have ye not read in the Torah how that on the Shabbat the priests in the temple profane the Shabbat and are blameless? But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if ye had known what this means, I will have mercy and not sacrifice, ye would not have condemned at the guiltless. For the son of Adam is Adonai, even of the Shabbat. And when he was departed thence, he went into their synagogue. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered, and they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Shabbat, that they might accuse him and he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Shabbat, will he not lay hold on it and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore it is lawful to do well on the Shabbat. Then says he to the man, Stretch forth your hand. And he stretched it forth and it was restored whole, like as the other. Then the Parashim went out and held a council against him, how they might destroy him. But when Yahusha knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and great multitudes followed him, and he healed them all, and charged them that they should not make him known that it might be fulfilled at which was spoken by Yeshayahu the prophet, saying, Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my Yahid, in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my Ruach upon him, and he shall show judgment to the other nations. He shall not strive nor cry, neither shall any man hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed shall he not break, and smoking flax shall he not quench, till he send forth judgment unto victory. And in his name shall the other nations trust. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him, so much so that the blind and dumb both spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? But when the Parashim heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out devils, but by Baal is above the prince of the devils. And Yahusha knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? And if I by Baal Zebub cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the Ruach Yahuwah, then the kingdom of Yahuwah is come unto you. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods? 
except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathers not with me scatters abroad. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Ruach HaKadosh shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaks a word against the son of Adam, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaks against the Ruach HaKadosh, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by his fruit. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart brings forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. For by your words you shall be justified, and by your words you shall be condemned. Then certain of the scribes and of the Parashim answered, saying, Rabbi, we would see a sign from you. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous nation seeks after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Yonah. For as Yonah was three days and three nights in the fish's belly, so shall the son of Adam be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this nation and shall condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Yonah, and behold, a greater than Yonah is here. The queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this nation and shall condemn it, for she came from the uttermost part, rather parts of the earth, to hear the wisdom of Shalomah. And behold, a greater than Shalomah is here. When the unclean Ruach is gone out of a man, he walks through dry places, seeking rest and finds none. Then he says, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he has come, he finds it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goes he and takes with himself seven under, rather, other Ruachoth, more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked nation. While he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, your mother and your brethren stand without, desiring to speak with you. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his Talmudim and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother.